seven Spanish angels took another angel home. Hey, I'm Willie Nelson. You're watching Hip Rock TV. We don't run, and we don't compromise, we don't quit, we never do. Here we are again. I'm Mass Sergeant Tony Vance, the voice of Freedom's Voice, and tonight we're going to talk about future fear and conspiracy. With all the hoopla and conspiracy theories over vaccines and the virus, and QAnon and all that, I would l like to remind everybody that your conspiracy theories are absolutely nothing new. Now, let me read you a piece from the uh, book Empire of Liberty, 1789 to 1815 by Gordon S. Wood from the Oxford History of the United States. President Adams had called for a day of fasting and prayer on May 9, 1798, and the Orthodox clergy in the North and Middle States responded with support for the Federalist cause, especially since most of the rapidly expanding Baptists and Methodists favored the Republicans. The traditional Congregational Presbyterians and Episcopalians clearly saw their fight against infidelity linked to the Federalist fight against France and the Jacobine, uh, Jacobines in America's midst. Jedediah Morris, author of the best-selling book, American Geography, 1789, and Congregational Minister in Charlestown, Massachusetts, spread the theory that the French Revolution was part of an international conspiracy to destroy Christianity and all civil government. Drawing on the anti-Jacobine work of the Scot John Robeson, who wrote Proofs of a Conspiracy Against All the Religions and Governments in Europe, 1798, Morse traced his conspiracy back to a society of free thinkers called the Bavarian Illuminati. Seems they were originally German? who had infiltrated the Masonic society, Masonic organizations in Europe, Morse claimed that the French were now conspiring, conspiring to use Jeffersonian Republicans to subvert Americans' government and religions. Just as crazy then as it was, is now. Then as now, conspiracy theories are always based on fear of the future. And with the pandemic and everything, the future is a little fearful. But you don't have to add in conspiracy theories to make it scary, but people do. You know, uh, many of these conspiracies are thriving with the ability for social media and the Internet. They can spread that stuff hither and yon. And people are gullible. They'll believe it. But when people are scared, they'll believe anything. Which makes me wonder why, and you know, if you ever stop and wonder why the people on the right seem to believe in some of the QAnon and uh, massive pedophilia rings and, and microchips in your vaccine and on and on. I think the reason is, is because it's, we're coming to a point. A lot of the sport for the Republican Party and the Republican Party's push has always been racist. Fear of the other. And we are fastly approaching a time when if all the minorities were combined together, they would outnumber white people. And white people on the right are scared. They're not sure what they're scared of, but their leaders got them scared. And fear is the basis for all of these conspiracy theories. You know, the only way to push back against this stuff is with the truth. But truth doesn't work once people are invested in a conspiracy. 
You ever try to change somebody's mind that absolutely believes it, even though you show fact, you can prove to them you a scientific experiment and showed it's not true, they'll still believe it, no matter what you do. One can only hang out, hang on, search out the facts and wait. Proof of the validity of conspiracies will eventually show up, as it did with the French Revolution and the fear at the time that it would spill over into American society. Never happened. Like the old, old saying goes, you can have your own, your own opinions, but not your own facts. And facts are really all that matter. And facts is the only way to fight back against these insane conspiracy theories. So just hang on tight. It'll blow over one of these days. <laughs> have a good evening. We'll see you next time. Hi, I'm Willie Nelson, and the Willie Nelson Teapot Party and I endorse Veterans for Medical Cannabis Access. Just roll me up and smoke me when 